So you all remember the tachyon device, right? Circle thing or a little tiny machine thing usually hangs out around Barry's emblem and enhances the speed force in a system to help him get faster without killing him like the V9 formula. Are his vitals okay? Yeah, they're perfect. Yeah, you ever wonder where that thing went? I know I did, all through season 3 of The Flash. I mean, it's crazy that the writers ever thought we'd forget about the thing that Barry spent an entire episode trying to get and made him run four times faster than he ever did before. Let's put it this way, you just annihilated your old record. Yeah, you went four times faster than you have ever been. Four times? There's not even a good explanation in the show as to why it's not there anymore. Like it could be on another Earth or it got lost or something like that. It's just never mentioned again after Barry goes into the Speed Force for the first time. I mean, there's tons of different times Barry could have used it to help out with a bad guy or a group of bad guys. You'd think somebody on Team Flash would have been like, hey, maybe we should dig up that old technology we've had lying around for an entire season. Maybe fix it back up or something, right? So where is it? And why isn't Barry using it right now? Well, let's take a look and find out. First, let's go into a little backstory. So as you guys might remember, the tachyon device actually first appeared all the way back in season one, with Eobard using it and the speed equation to power himself up and stabilize the speed force in his system. If you want a more in-depth breakdown on why his connection to the speed force is all screwed up, then go ahead and check out my video on it. Links are going to be on screen and in the description. However, that version of the tachyon device was later repurposed into a quantum splicer for Ronnie Raymond, later Jax, and Martin Stein to use as Firestorm. It wasn't until Barry ran back in time in the season two episode Flashback that he got his own copy of the speed equation from Eobard himself with Team Flash using it to develop their own version of the Tachyon device in the episode Versus Zoom. When Barry used it, he not only ran way faster than he ever had before, but he was also able to accidentally run to Supergirl's Earth. We never really see it again after that, since Harry managed to shrink it down and hide it behind Barry's Flash emblem, and after Zoom had Barry drain the Speed Force out of himself, the device pretty much just became a waste of space. Plus, after that, Barry got sucked into the Speed Force in the episode Rupture, and I don't know about you guys, but... That makes it look like the tachyon device was either damaged or completely destroyed. So the real question here is, why doesn't Barry just use it again? I mean, I know I just said a second ago it's probably broken, but unless Team Flash is made up of some really terrible scientists, which let's face it, they are. We need, by my yeah. calculations, 3.86 terajoules of energy. That's more energy than in the sun. That's more energy than in the sun. <laughs> then they should have a copy of the hard drive that had the speed equation on it, right? Shouldn't they still be able to make a copy of the tachyon device, or at the very least have Harry fix up the old one? Well, there's a couple different explanations we can use here. In universe, I always figured that after getting out of the speed force, Barry's natural speed was boosted to what he could reach with the tachyon device. I mean, think about it. We know when he was using the device, since it makes his emblem glow blue, and after he got out of the speed force, he was able to easily outpace Zoom during their fight in the season 2 finale, and he never had a glowing emblem then. Maybe Team Flash figured Barry was fast enough on his own without the device and they decided to get rid of it because they thought it was unnecessary or something. I guess they wiped all their data about it too since apparently nobody could figure out the speed equation in season 2 and you think somebody would have looked into making another one when Savitar showed up. In real life, I figured the writers had everybody forget about it because it either made Barry too powerful or it was too much of a deus ex machina. Anytime Barry had to fight somebody, he could just push a button and be way faster than they were. Then he wouldn't need Jay, Wally, Jesse, or anybody else to help him out in the field. He could just do everything himself. So overall, I'm pretty sure the reason it's gone is because plot. But anyways guys, that's my take on where the tachyon device went after Barry used it for a few episodes in The Flash. If you guys like this video or if you have your own theories you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button, maybe leave me a comment while you're at it, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out any of my social media pages. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All those links are going to be in the description below. And I've also got my last video right there in the middle of your screen. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click it. Check it out. All right, and I will see you all next time.